So we're sitting around making some ground lift cables and thought we'd try to put a short video together on how to make these cables. In some of the videos that I have online, there's, um, there's some reference to making some ground lift cables to stop the uh, ground loops that occur. And uh, a ground loop is a 60 hertz cycle. It's a, uh, a very annoying hum that you get in the system when you've got uh, power, let's say your front of house power is on a separate power source than from your stage power, such as for your amplifiers. And then what happens is that because you've got two separate power sources, the uh, grounding cable uh, between these cables and the actual power source itself from the outlets from the equipment that you have plugged in, they start forming this loop and it goes around and around and around and it causes a huge hum. Well, to get rid of that, there uh, you can purchase boxes uh, that can uh, eliminate the ground loop problem for you or, and a lot cheaper uh, solution, is just to go ahead and make your own cables. Uh, these cables are your typical XLR 3-pin. And what we're going to do is in this cable here, let me get my trusty pointer. In this cable here, this is pin one. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this wire for pin one. We don't want to mess around with two and three. They carry the signal. What we want to get rid of is this uh, grounding, uh, grounding wire that's in pin one. Okay, and cutting the pin one wire is really, it's very, very simple to do. And it's probably a good idea to have several uh, ground lifting cables available in your arsenal of cables because there's always something's always going to come up where there's going to be a ground loop problem either with the monitors or maybe within the amplifiers themselves or maybe you've got a big problem ground loop problem and you need to ground lift the signal going back to the stage uh, from front of house meaning if from your board from your crossovers so or actually a crossover your crossover channels so what we're going to do is we're going to take, this is just a regular little jumper cable. Uh, everything is connected in it right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out, not take out, but we're going to get rid of this connection right here. So this is actually very simple to do. All you got to do is just spend a little time uh, working on it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the cable apart. We've got this uh, nice little jack on it. Okay, and this little unit here slides out. Actually, it slides out pretty easily. Uh, but the trick with uh, this cable and many cables is, see this little uh, pin right here? Uh, wait, there we go. Yeah, see this little uh, notch right here? Now, that's going to line up with a clip that's going to be on this end over here. So when you put everything back together, just make sure you've got this clip that's over here. We'll see in a second. Make sure it's lined up with this uh, little notch right here. It's very simple. Okay, we're going to take it apart. Okay, and right here, see this little clip right here? It just needs to line up with this, uh, this little notch opening right here. It's sort of rolled out of the way. But also, and I don't know if you can tell, if you look inside of it here, uh, there is a ridge on the inside. That's a little bit better, maybe. But that ridge lines up with these little ridges these little ridges that are on these on the uh, cable itself, on the cable jacketing itself here. So those are going to line up inside here as well. So it does, just because you take it apart doesn't mean, oh my gosh, I've got to force it on or find a different way to put it back together. It does go back together. You just got to make sure it's done correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this collar off. And right here, we've got a signal cable here. We got a signal cable here, actually wires, got a red wire, white wire. These are the wires we want to leave alone. We're not interested in those. What we're interested in is this grounding wire right here. As you can tell, it looks different. There's no jacketing around it. This is the grounding wire right here, and this is the one that we want to cut. It's not going to affect anything. What it is going to do is it is going to stop ground loops from occurring. So any set of dikes will do. We're going to stick it right in here. A little bit closer maybe. Well, let's see here. 
to make sure it didn't go out of focus. Okay, so we're going to set our dikes in here and we're going to cut just like that. Now, if you'll notice, see how that is cut now? Here we go. But the problem is, is that when we, when we put this back together, when everything is sitting back up, there's a good chance, a good opportunity that those connections could uh, reconnect. So what we're going to do is actually take out a little piece of the wire because we want to make sure that those connections don't, they don't occur again. So we're going to take that out. There we go. All right. So look at it now. So that's a big opening that's going to move around. That's not going to cause any issues. So now that that is done, and really that's all you got to do. So now all we need to do is put it back together. And we're going to line these collars up like they were before. This little clip here and uh, right over here, if you can see these little ridges right here, these ridges line up. Okay, and if you remember, we're going to take this little opening right here and line it up with these clips right here. So we put it back together, make sure everything lines up. There we go. It just slides in place. Okay, we're going to now put it back together. All right, there we go. Now we've got a ground lift cable complete. And on these, all you've got to do, and really this could, this could be any length of cable. You can make a ground lift cable out of something like this. This is 18 inches long, foot and a half long. Uh, you can make a ground lift cable on anything. It can be 100 feet long if you wanted to. Uh, but really, it doesn't matter which side you cut. Now here, we cut this side. You can easily have cut this side as well in here. It doesn't matter. Uh, what I would recommend is if you're making ground lift cables is to pick a side and stay with that side and all your cables. Don't decide to cut it here and then maybe on some other cables and cut it here. It can get confusing if, if there actually is a problem. So try to stick it on one side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our trusty tester here. All right, we are connected. Actually, whoop, let's get back out here a little bit. Okay, what we're gonna do now, we are connected. So technically, we should be seeing something coming in on uh, pin number one, but we don't because we've disconnected it. So to prove that it works, pin number two works, pin number three works, and obviously there's nothing else after uh, three. So this cable has effectively a ground lift. Now, just to make sure here, we're going to take this other cable. There we go. Now this is one we have not done anything with yet. So pin one works. Two and three. Okay. So this one's this is what it looks like when the cables all when all pins are connected. So what we're going to do here, we've already done one. Let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and uh, there we go. We're going to go ahead and create another one here. And actually, what I'm using these for, these special little cables, is for the, um, we have a mic splitter, and there may be a, an opportunity for a ground lip, a ground, pardon me, a ground loop to occur. Um, a ground loop to occur if, um, if we don't have some of these cables set to not uh, to not have um, pin one connected. All right, so as you can see right here, we've got that gap right there. That's the one that we wanted here. You can see it right over here. Okay, so we're gonna put it back together. Uh, there we go. It's relatively easy to do. Only takes about, well, you saw it here. I don't know what, maybe a minute. I lose track of time doing this stuff. Okay, so that's secure. Then, now obviously we don't have to, but uh, we can check it anyway, just to make sure there's no issues. Okay, as you notice, pin one, it's off. Two's working, three is on. All right, that's what that looks like. And in closing, I would say that, I would highly recommend that you come up with some kind of a label or something so that if you have people that either are working for you or maybe they're volunteering to help you, that you have these cables effectively marked. 
uh, that shows what they are. Now here on this one, I've got some, I got these ones going across with a GL. That just stands for ground lift. And this is going to be uh, for channel number one. Uh, it's something just, just to put on there that we know what it is. Or if you don't have any particular channels, if you just need a, a regular ground lift cable, you could do something like this where it just says, uh, it just says ground lift, just as long as you've got something marked on there uh, for what it is. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and good luck.